A central theme of Mark's gospel is the idea of discipleship. Mark devotes a lot of time recording how people respond to Jesus' teachings and his mighty deeds. And in today's reading of the Passion, we hear how Mark records people's response to Jesus' suffering and death. And so Mark tells us that of Jesus' friends, one denies him and one betrays him. Peter, James, and John can't even stay awake with him for one hour to pray. And when Jesus is arrested, Mark tells us that they all left him and fled. And yet, Mark tells us about Simon of Cyrene, an innocent bystander who is pressed into service to carry the cross, lightening the burden on Jesus. Then there's the Roman centurion, a disinterested pagan who at the death of Jesus recognizes him as the Son of God. And finally, there's Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the very Sanhedrin that convicted and condemned Jesus to death, who courageously asks for the body of Jesus so that he can bury it with care and respect. You see, in Mark's gospel, disciples become bystanders and bystanders become disciples. From the earliest days of Christianity, Mark was concerned about Christian discipleship. He recognized that one of the greatest dangers of a Christian was to become a bystander. On the other hand, one of the greatest joys of Christianity was for a bystander to become a disciple. And so Mark was always concerned about how to keep a disciple an active member of the faith. Today we share some of the same concerns. And so during Holy Week, the church offers each of us an opportunity to become more than bystanders in the passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. During this week, we will once again tell the story of Jesus' passion, but we will tell it in a way that the church does at no other time of the year. On Holy Thursday, we will remember the Last Supper, but rather than just hearing the story as a bystander, we will be invited to participate in it through the reenactment of the washing of the feet. On Good Friday, the most solemn day of the year, the church marks the sadness of Jesus' death. It's the only day of the year that Mass is not celebrated. Instead, we walk the Stations of the Cross and we venerate the wood of the cross. Then on Saturday evening, we will gather in darkness, reminded of the darkness of the evil that led to Jesus' death, and there we will light the Easter fire, the sign that the great light of Jesus' love and life has come into the world. We rejoice at the birth of our faith, and as the church has done from the earliest centuries, we welcome new members into our church through baptism, Eucharist, and confirmation. This week we gather to tell the story one more time, in a way unlike any other time of the year. After five weeks of Lent, reflecting on Jesus' teachings and his mighty deeds, we come to the central question of Mark's Gospel. How do you respond to the suffering and death of Jesus Christ? 
as a disciple who is really nothing more than a bystander or as a bystander who is ready to become a disciple. Amen. Amen. Amen.